This is the first fully designed biologically active treatment plant in the state of Minnesota. There's bacteria that we're trying to grow in the filtering system that help clean up the water to make it better quality. Well, the ultimate goal is safe, clean drinking water. What's going on in these filters is pretty amazing. And the new plant is now online and the water quality has definitely gone up considerably already. The water quality in St. Martin before we had the um, new water treatment plant was we have high iron. And the biggest problem was we were getting really rusty water to the people. With iron in the water, like your bathtub, when you fill it up, the water is not clear. You can't even see the bottom of your tub. It actually got, has an orange to reddish tint to it. We really had no idea we had an ammonia issue until we were getting ready to start the pilot and it's actually Kim Larson from the Minnesota Department of Health that came out and she did some tests and stuff for us and realized that we do have a high ammonia content and so that got incorporated into our treatment process. Right here goes the tank two, which is the ammonia removal tank. Ammonia is a problem in the water because it creates nitrates and it also ties up all your chlorine so it's really hard to regulate chlorine too. Chlorine residuals are extremely important. The purpose of the chlorine is to keep the water from growing bacteria and getting any other parasites um, that could make people sick. If the Department of Health wouldn't have helped with getting this plant, I don't think we'd have a plant. They were involved in getting the financing through for it too, and um, we're a small, small community. I don't think we'd had we'd have had a chance of getting a plant if we'd had to build one ourselves. You know, we, could, we needed to have rates that people could actually afford to pay. As it turns out, with, even with the $2 million treatment plant, our rates will remain the same. I know a lot of people are very happy with what's coming out of their tap right now. The Minnesota Department of Health was extremely instrumental in getting this plant to where it is today. Without that, we probably would still, even though we spent the money, having the same problems we had in the past.